Hi everyone, my name is Marina and I'm very happy to see you here on my YouTube channel. Our practice today will be just beautiful. Smooth flowing movements, all about flexibility, stretches for hamstrings, inner thighs and hips, a few back bends in between. I loved it and I hope you will love it too. It's more for the intermediate level and no equipment is required. If you are ready, let us begin. Let us start laying down on the back with a bridge pose. So bend your knees, feet hip distance apart and parallel. Lift your hips up and focus on engaging through the back side of your body as you work into your glutes as you activate your hamstrings. Actively press through the feet into the floor, especially through the heels, and feel a slight engagement through the inner thighs. We hold it here for a total of one minute as you begin to connect to your breathing. Exhale, bring your hips down and lift through the legs up. Point the feet and try to hold your legs as straight and active as possible. Might be pull your leg towards you in a reclined forward fold. Come out into one-legged bridge pose, place your left foot onto the mat, your right leg lifts up, lift through the hips up and away from the floor. You can keep your right knee softly bent or if possible keep your right leg straight and active. Notice the work happening through the back of your left leg. Just a few more breaths here. Well done. Bring your hips towards the floor and now pull the left leg towards you as you straighten into the left knee and then bend it again. Four more times. Straighten the left leg as much as it feels good to you and pull the knee towards you. Gently warming up and stretching into the hamstrings on the left side. Let's do this one more time. You can hold the hands onto the ankle, onto the foot or behind your left thigh, wherever you can comfortably reach. Hold the stretch, relax into your shoulders. Now extend your right leg down onto the floor. Grab your right hand on the outside of the left foot or onto the ankle. And we'll go for the belly twist, holding your left leg straight. So slowly reach your left foot closer towards the floor. Extend your left arm out and gaze over the left shoulder combining a belly twist with a beautiful hip stretch. Roll back onto your back. Let us change the sides. 
we are coming up into one legged bridge pose this time your right foot is on the floor left leg is reaching up towards the skies point the toes press through the right heel into the floor and activate into the back of your right leg gain the power through the glutes and lift the hips up a little bit higher this is a very challenging pose Take just a few more breaths. Exhale, bring your hips down. Now recline the hamstring stretch on the right side. So pull the right knee towards the chest and then try to straighten the right leg towards you. Hold your hands either under your right thigh, onto the ankle or onto the foot, wherever it feels best to you. Let's do this one more time. Wonderful, hold the stretch, don't push it too hard, we are just warming up, it is the beginning of the practice, instead focus on your breathing, be gentle and kind to your body. Extend your left leg down onto the floor. Bring your left hand on the outside of the right foot. We are coming for the belly twist. Slowly lower the right leg to the left side. Gaze over the right shoulder. Very good, slowly come out as you roll on to your back and release the leg down. Rock yourself up to seated. We will continue with the reverse tabletop. Lift through the hips up. Try to bring them in line with the rest of your body. Once again, activating into the hamstrings and into the glutes. Connect to your breathing just a little bit longer here. Exhale, bring the hips towards the mat. Extend your legs in front of you. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, come into the seated forward fold. If necessary, keep your knees softly bent and try to find the length through your back as you are reaching forward through the chest and chin. Find a place where you feel a good stretch through the back of your legs. Might be some stretch running through the lower back. Once again, don't force it. Instead, choose to surrender to everything that you feel in your body. Allow your breathing to guide you through the stretch. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale as you soften.
If you are ready, let us come out from this pose. We'll continue with a few cat and cow movements in the tabletop position. On the inhale, lift through the chest and tailbone up. On the exhale, round into your back. We'll go through a few more rounds of the spine awakening movements. They always feel good. Follow your breathing. You can do it as slow or as fast as it feels good to you today. One last time. From here, let's come up into our first downward facing dog. Walk your hands farther forward, come up onto your feet. If you prefer, you can choose to walk the feet in place, bending into one knee at a time. Take your time here. Slowly easing your way into this fundamental, but at the same time, very demanding pose. With the next inhale, walk the feet forward to the front of the mat. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up to stand and sweep through the arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. A few modified sun salutations. Inhale, reach through the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, step the left foot back, bring the knee towards the floor. Inhale, lift through the arms up, low kneeling lunge. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, step back plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, rise up cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale as you lift through the left leg up. Exhale, step it through and in between your hands. Right knee towards the floor. Inhale, lift through the arms up, gaze up towards the fingertips. Exhale, hands to floor. Inhale, step forward as you lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up to standing. Exhale, hands to the heart. On the other side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, step the right foot back, knee to floor. Inhale, send the hips forward, lift through the chest up. Exhale, hands to floor. Inhale, find your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift through the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Knee to floor. Inhale, low kneeling lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, step forward, find length through the back. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, rise up to standing. Exhale, hands to the heart. Amazing. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step it back, plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. With the next inhale, reach through the right leg up, bend the knee, and try to point that knee as high up as possible. Now come up onto the left tippy toes, and bring the left heel down. Five more times. Lifting up high, and then bringing the heel closer towards the floor. One last time. Inhale, straighten the right leg up. Exhale, step it through in between your hands. Bring your left knee towards the floor. Inhale, lift through the arms up. Interlace the fingers. Open through the palms up. And now bring your hands behind your head, giving your neck a little bit more support as we try to sink through the hips down and open through the chest up. Exhale, bring the hands towards the floor and transition into the half splits as you straighten into your right leg. We'll do this transition two more times. Inhale into the low kneeling lunge. Lift through the arms up. Lift through the chest up. Exhale, hands to the floor as you move back into the half splits. Inhale, low kneeling lunge. Send the hips forward. Exhale, bring the hands towards the floor and shift back into the half splits as you flex into your right foot. Tuck the left toes and now slowly lift the left knee up and off the floor, still in a forward fold. Bring the left knee down, half splits. Two more times, lift the left knee up, try to stay closer towards your right leg. Bend the knee down. If necessary, place the hands onto the blocks. From here, find your balance as you shift the weight into the right leg at the front of the mat, coming into this modified flamingo stretch. So bend into the left knee and pull the left heel towards your butt folding as deep forward as possible over the right leg. Intense hamstring stretch. Slowly bend into the right knee, extend your left leg back as you step into the high lunge on the right side. Wonderful. Exhale, hands to the floor. Let's go through a vinyasa. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Up Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. We will repeat this sequence on the other side. With the next inhale, reach through the left leg up. Bend the left knee. Open up through the hips as you point the left knee up higher. Come up high on the right toes and bring the right heel down to the floor. Three more times. 
Try to hold your arms straight. Actively press through the fingers into the floor. One last time here. Inhale, straighten through the left leg up. Exhale, step it through into the low kneeling lunge. Step the left foot a little bit farther forward. Inhale, sweep through the arms up, interlace the fingers. And now place the hands behind your head, a little bit more support. Lift up through the chest, sink the hips down. We will be moving between low kneeling lunge and half splits. Exhale, hands to the floor. Move back into the half splits as you try to straighten your left leg. Flex into the left foot. Inhale, low kneeling lunge. You can follow your own breathing, your own rhythm, making this practice feel good to you. One more time for me here. Exhale, half splits. Tuck your right toes. Slowly lift the right knee up and off the floor. Wide pyramid pose. Bring the right knee down. A few more times. Lift the right knee up and off the floor if necessary. Hands on the blocks. Bring it down. One last time. Come up. Now as you find your balance, slowly shift the weight into the left foot, flamingo stretch, standing forward fold only on the left leg, as you bend the right knee, pull the heel towards you. This might feel intense. As you come out, begin to bend into the left knee, reach through the right leg back. Inhale, lift up, high crescent lunge. Very good. Exhale, hands to floor. Inhale, step back plank. Another vinyasa. From downward facing dog, walk your hands towards your feet. We'll take a standing forward fold. You can choose to bring peace fingers over the big toes, lift through the chest up and lift through the tailbone back and up. If possible, your legs are straight. If necessary, keep the knees soft and your hands can be resting on the ankles or the shins. Wonderful. Exhale, fold forward towards your legs. Deepen your breathing. Come out, wiggle the feet to the sides of the mat, toes slightly turned out. Let's lower down into Malasana. For someone it will be a nice break. For someone it will be a good inner thigh stretch. Honor what you feel in your body. Let us come back into the downward facing dog. With the next inhale, reach through the right leg up. Exhale, wild thing, 
bend into the right knee and step the right foot behind your back onto the tippy toes. Lift through the hips, open through the chest as you go into a back bend. On the inhale, come back into one legged downward facing dog with the right leg up. Exhale, step it through, coming into the side lunge on the right side. You can stay up a little bit higher or sit up onto the block, whatever works best for you today. We are looking for a good inner thigh stretch. You can choose to extend your arms out, lift through the chest up, actively opening the right knee away from your right shoulder. Side body stretch as we extend over the left leg. Another beautiful variation here. From here, we'll transition into the side lunge on the left side at the end of the mat. And with the next inhale, let us lift up into warrior two on the right side, facing to the front of the mat. Snuggle through the feet into the mat, reach your arms out, sink a little bit deeper into the right thigh. Focus on the transition as we step forward into the half moon pose. Open the left hip on top of the right. We are holding it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bend into the right knee and softly step it back into warrior two. Beautiful balance, great effort. Inhale, step back, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We will repeat the sequence on the other side. On the inhale, Reach through the left leg up, bend into the left knee as you step the left foot behind your back, finding your wild thin pose. Lift through the hips up, find your back bend as you open through the front side of your body. Slowly come back into the one-legged downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Coming into the side lunge on the left side. Open the left knee away from you. Right knee is facing up. You can choose to extend your arms out as you create a little bit more space across the chest. Side body stretch in the side lunge as we extend over the right leg. Beautiful feel good poses. Let us transition into the side lunge on the right side at the back of the mat as we gain strength to lift up into warrior two on the left side facing the front of the mat. Sink into the left hip, your left knee is facing forward and now prepare to gracefully transition into the half moon on the left side. 
wonderful. Let's hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and step it back into warrior two. Well done. Inhale, plank, and the vinyasa. We'll come together into one last downward facing dog. From here, cross your right foot over the left and then bend the knees, walk your hands a little closer towards you as we come down into the shoelace pose, sit your hips towards the mat. One of my favorite hip stretches. You can choose to sit upright if necessary. Sit up on a blanket or a block. It will be easier for you to stack one knee on top of the other if your hips are lifted. If you feel the stretch, especially through the right hip, then you're exactly where you need to be. Close your eyes and let's stay here just a little bit longer. From here, slowly lift up back onto your feet and now spin around facing through the back of the mat so that we can come into the shoelace pose with the left leg forward, bend the knees, sit the hips down, might be a few wiggles, adjustments are necessary before you can slow down and become a little bit more peaceful in this stretch. Let us slowly come out from this pose, come onto your feet and then come into the standing forward fold with your feet to parallel, grab your hands onto the opposite elbows and just allow yourself to hand loose, if necessary bend into the knees, relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Allow the upper body to pull you down. Close your eyes.
place your hands onto the floor. Let's finish today's practice with a child's pose. Bend your knees, sit the hips towards the heels, fold forward. Close your eyes and try to become as relaxed as possible. Notice how you feel. To finish this practice, let's come up into a seated position. Inhale, reach through the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. If this is the end of your practice today, thank you so much for joining me on the mat. If you would like to continue practicing, please choose any other video on my channel. Hip mobility, hamstring stretch, cool down practice. If you enjoyed this class, remember to press that like button. Subscribe to my channel. And I cannot wait to see you on the mat soon again. Much love and take care of yourself.